If you've been subscribed to my channel for even a little bit, you probably know that I've been using Premiere Pro to edit my videos for quite a while now. Unfortunately, I've recently been having some problems with Premiere, so I've been on the hunt for a new editing software that can work well with my laptop. After watching a couple YouTube videos, I decided to download DaVinci Resolve 15 and give that a try. A couple of you reached out and said you'd been checking out DaVinci as well, but you weren't sure if you were going to make the switch. You asked me if I was going to put out a video comparing the two, I said yes, this is that video, DaVinci Resolve versus Premiere Pro, let's do this. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Jay, and if you are into things like cinematography, video editing, and the occasional life lesson or two, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell so you can get alerted whenever I upload a new video. This week, like I said, we're gonna be comparing DaVinci Resolve 15 to Premiere Pro CC 2019. We're gonna go over the pros and cons of both softwares, and finally, I'm gonna let you know, am I making the switch? Am I jumping from Adobe to DaVinci Resolve. But first, a quick little history of the editing software that I have used. I started out making YouTube videos at the tail end of 2017. At the time, I knew nothing about cinematography. I knew nothing about video editing. I literally just needed something to stitch clips together, maybe throw a filter on it, and export it to YouTube. I started out with Wondershare Filmora. It is a great little piece of software. In fact, coming in 2019, I'm gonna re-download a copy of Wondershare and give you guys some tutorials because you asked me for it. Now, when I finally bought a real camera and I decided I wanted to learn about video editing and I wanted to learn about color grading and sound design and all that, I decided to download Premiere Pro onto my laptop. And up until about five videos ago, I used Premiere Pro exclusively. That was my video editor of choice. I learned it really well. I started doing tutorials on how to edit with Premiere and it was just, it was my go-to software and I've been using it. And it was a great piece of software for a little while. But recently, like I said, I've been having some issues, namely whenever I open up Premiere Pro for the first time after restarting my computer, it crashes every single time. Also, a couple of the presets that I had that were working great in 2018 are no longer working in the 2019 software. I also started having problems with After Effects. It's just kind of been a mess and it was more frustrating than anything else to get a video done. And that brings us to five videos ago when I decided to download DaVinci Resolve and give that a shot. All right, we're all caught up on the history lesson. Let's get into the official comparison between Premiere Pro CC 2019 and DaVinci Resolve 15. There are some things about Premiere Pro that I absolutely love. It comes with the Creative Cloud subscription, so you also get Audition and After Effects, two things which I've used extensively to get my videos made. It's loaded with a ton of features. I mean, this is a professional editing software. These, This is an editing software that has been used for major motion pictures, for television shows, for all sorts of stuff. This is a fully featured editing software. If you're like me and you're a visual learner, there are a ton of awesome tutorials on YouTube that you can watch, namely mine or Peter McKinnon's. And if tutorials are not the way to go for you, they have an amazing forum. There's tons of forums out there that you can just go in, you can pop in your question, whatever problem you're having, people will try and help you out. It's an active community of Adobe users and it's it's great. But along with those pros, along with all of that stuff, come some pretty major issues for me. Namely, I haven't had a boss in over a year and money is still a little bit more difficult to come by. So that monthly subscription that gets you Premiere Pro and Audition and After Effects and Photoshop and Lightroom and all that stuff, that gets expensive after a while. On top of that, with every new update, it becomes a little bit more taxing on my computer. I don't have an editing laptop or an editing desktop. I have a consumer level, it's a high-end consumer level laptop, but it's still a consumer level laptop. This thing is not built to be running Photoshop and Lightroom and, and Premiere Pro and Audition and especially not After Effects. And if you have two Adobe apps open on my computer at any given time, all hell breaks loose. Which is a problem because when you're editing in Premiere Pro, a lot of times you have to have After Effects or Audition open at the same time. I do most 
of my audio editing in Audition. So I have to create the dynamic link and send everything over. I can't do everything that I want to do for audio right there in Premiere. So going with the audio example, I, I have to go and I have to hit the edit button and I gotta export to Adobe Audition, then I gotta wait a year and a half for a Adobe Audition to load up and it's just, it just takes forever. It takes so much time to get everything done. And while I know Premiere Pro and all of the surrounding apps like the back of my hand now, it wasn't always that way and it took a lot of work to get there. I had to watch a ton of tutorials just to edit my first video on Premiere Pro. Now, like I said, Premiere Pro is not a bad software. It's just not the right software for this computer, I don't think. And it's just becoming more trouble than it's worth. But if your computer can handle it, it is an amazing piece of software. And combined with After Effects and Adobe Audition, it really is a great little system. So let's do a little comparison between Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, shall we? Now, just for clarification, I downloaded the free version of DaVinci Resolve. That's right, free version. And that free version is loaded with features. It has everything you need to put out a high quality video. So when it comes to price, DaVinci Resolve is the clear winner. You get a feature packed editing software for free as opposed to a monthly subscription that you have to pay for Adobe. And if you do decide to upgrade and get the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, which gives you even more features that I will be purchasing at some point, I think, just to try it out. It is a one time payment of $299. That's it. 300 bucks. You got it. And that's it. No monthly subscription, nothing like that. It's just yours. Now, remember when I said in order to fully edit something with Adobe, you have to start in Premiere Pro, put together your video. You have to edit your audio and audition if you want to do something like more robust and more full featured. You got to do your special effects and after effects and different things have to be open at the same time and it's just a mess. And if you have an older laptop, it's just going to slow it to a crawl and it's just a pain in the butt. Well, with DaVinci Resolve in one app, you get the video editor, you get Fusion, which is basically their After Effects competitor, and you get Fairlight, which is their audio editor. You get them all three in one app. There's no waiting for other apps to load. You just click over to the different tabs and you're done. On top of that, I've had no problems running this thing on my older laptop. It runs great. Sometimes I have to go into proxy mode and run things at quarter resolution, but that's fine with me. I don't care about that. It runs great, except for one time when it crashed, but that was 100% operator error. Going back to those little tabs that you can go to for audio editing and special effects, one of those other tabs is color. Now, DaVinci Resolve used to be 100% a color grading software. That's all it was. And it did that very well. And it still does that very, very well. I have been able to color grade in DaVinci Resolve so much easier, so much easier and so much faster than I ever was able to do in Premiere Pro. And as far as special effects are concerned, Fusion, their After Effects competitor, I find to be more intuitive than After Effects. It's easy to follow along with any tutorials that I've found. It's, it's just really simple to use. It's fast. You don't have to wait too long for rendering. It's actually, it's really nice. It's a really nice little feature in DaVinci Resolve, and I'm going to be making the use of that a lot, I think. Just like Adobe, where they do kind of match up evenly, is the community surrounding the software. If you ever have trouble, there is a Blackmagic Design Forum. You can go in there, you can post your problems. It's an active community. People will help you out. But you shouldn't need to do that too often because I've actually found that DaVinci Resolve is super super intuitive. Now this might be because I spent so much time in Premiere Pro because I already knew the basics of video editing and color grading and all that stuff. But when I opened up DaVinci Resolve, I was just able to get to work. I mean, I had to play around a little bit, figure out how to import all my media and all that stuff. But once I did that, once the media was in the software, I was able to just go. And then the final pro that I have for DaVinci Resolve, there's probably more, but the last one that comes to mind is the rendering. When you actually go to export your video, it exports pretty fast. I mean, it's comparable to some of the Premiere Pro 
videos that I've exported, but I, it's, it's just, it's really, really fast. I've found I haven't really had to wait very long, not nearly as long as seven minute video exporting from DaVinci Resolve is going to export a lot faster than a seven minute video will from Premiere Pro. Now that's not to say DaVinci Resolve is the perfect software. There are some things that I don't like. The first con actually has nothing to do with this software itself. It has everything to do with YouTube. Most DaVinci Resolve tutorials on YouTube are absolutely horrible. I apologize to anybody who's watching this, but I just, I found most of them honestly unwatchable. A lot of it is just like screen recordings and there's no personality to the camera and I just can't pay attention. There is one exception to that. It's a guy, his channel is JRTV. I'm gonna link him below. He's super good. Uh, but other than that, I honestly haven't really been able to pay attention and follow along with a lot of the other DaVinci Resolve tutorials. Fun fact, one of the other reasons why I decided to download DaVinci Resolve is because there aren't very many tutorials, which means there's white space. So 2019, you can start looking for DaVinci Resolve tutorials from me. Another con of DaVinci Resolve, again, has nothing to do with the software, but the availability of assets, assets, things like templates, presets, uh, different transitions that you can download and use in your videos. There aren't very many of them out there. There are a few, and I mean, it is a good amount, but compared to Premiere Pro, where there are a ton of templates and a ton of special effects and a ton of transitions and a, just a, a bunch of stuff that you can download to add to your Premiere Pro videos, there's just not as many with DaVinci Resolve. Maybe I'll change that as well. And the final con of DaVinci Resolve that I have found, and this isn't really a con per se, it's just when comparing it to Adobe Audition, DaVinci Resolve's audio editing software leaves a little bit to be desired. Audition has a lot of things that I can just do automatically. I can just drag an effect onto the clip and I can get the sound that I want. I have to do a little bit more tweaking within DaVinci Resolve to get the sound that I want, but it is possible. It just takes a little bit more work. So as an audio guy first, I still have to stay. Audition is better for audio editing. So now the final question, which is the better software? Which one should you use? And the answer is it depends. And it depends on a couple things. For instance, DaVinci Resolve still isn't that great at using variable frame rate footage. You, it's just, it's no good. You get the audio video desync, it's it's just no good. Premiere Pro used to be the same way, but it's actually gotten a lot better and I can drop cell phone footage into Premiere Pro and it's normally nine times out of 10 edits with no problem. So if you're exclusively using a cell phone to film, it actually would be better to use Premiere Pro. But if you're like me and you use a DSLR and you have an older laptop and you're looking for something that's gonna run well and is free and still feature packed and can give you everything you need in an editing software, I, I'm gonna have to give it to DaVinci Resolve. It's literally got everything that you need. So am I making the switch? I guess that's the real last question. Am I making the switch? Am I leaving Adobe behind? Am I deleting Premiere Pro off my computer never to be used again? Not quite. I'm still gonna keep Premiere Pro around. I'm still gonna keep Audition and After Effects around. More of a just in case, especially if I end up filming something that's almost exclusively on my cell phone, I would rather just be able to open up Premiere Pro and edit it in there instead of having to go through the whole process of converting it to a constant frame rate clip and then putting it into DaVinci Resolve. It's just, that's just too much work. So I'm gonna keep Adobe around, but I think for the most part, for the most part, DaVinci Resolve will be my new main editing software. I'm gonna leave a link to the DaVinci Resolve website. It is not an affiliate link because the software is free, but feel free to click that link, download it, give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, like this video if you enjoyed it, share it if you think somebody else would find it useful, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't done so already. I'll be back Monday with a brand new episode of the vlog, but until then, thanks for hanging out, keep living your best life, and I will talk to you later. See ya.